Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Computing, and this is one of the largest tablets I've ever seen. It's a 20-inch tablet, uh, weighs about uh, five pounds. Uh, it's a prototype that Panasonic has put out, and what's really interesting about it is not just that it's a Windows 8 tablet that has a huge screen, it's that it has a um, very high resolution screen. It's uh, 300 and or 3,840 pixels by 2560 pixels, and when you look at the uh, screen resolution in here, um, often when you try to sort of do uh, screen you know, pixel doubling and whatnot on Windows uh, 8 or Windows 7, it doesn't really look great. Here, we're looking at everything sort of scaled up 200%, and it actually does look pretty good, makes, makes things usable. If we um, hadn't done this, the, the font sizes would be such that you could almost not see any of the text on the screen. Um, you can see it does work as a Windows 8 device. It's got an Intel Core i5 processor, 128 gigabyte SSD, and how much RAM is this? Uh, four gigabytes of RAM. They can support more than that, though, as well. And um, you can see there's a lot of room on the screen for applications and settings and so forth. It supports your pinch to zoom. It supports uh, fast app switching and so forth. And so basically, it's just a big old tablet that, uh, if it ever actually comes to market, is probably going to cost an arm and a leg. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, probably got a better display than any tablet you got in your house right now. It has, uh, what was the uh, pixels per inch? Uh, 230. 230 pixels per inch, um, which is, you know, I, I think uh, the iPad 3 has uh, 264, but it's a 9.7 inch screen. This is a much larger screen, um, and one that you probably won't. If you're watching a video or Im viewing images, you're not going to sit with it right in front of your face. So, again, Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at the uh, Panasonic prototype of a large uh, 4K resolution uh, tablet running Windows 8 software. Uh, one thing we didn't really look at here is that it also supports uh, handwriting recognition with a digital pen so that you could use it as a business type uh, device for, um, I think we've seen demos of people doing blueprints and, and sort of uh, other work where, where precision matters and uh, you, can, you can write on the device. Um, there's also a front facing camera so you can use it for video chat or whatever. And this is this is the uh, stylus software. No, the uh, oh. blueprint. Oh, blueprint. Okay, so so you can see we've got you know the ability to see uh, you know almost at paper-like resolutions um, as we're watching this blueprint draw itself. Um, because of the high resolutions, it does take a, a fair bit of processing power, I think, which is why it doesn't come up instantly. Um, but for basic tasks, it does seem pretty fluid and responsive. So again, Brad Linder, Lilliputing, and Panasonic's prototype of a 4K tablet, which um, you know might not come out in this form, but one day we'll probably start seeing things like this because there seems to be a pixel resolution war going on.